Hey guys, welcome to Hipfuse History. I'm Dizzy. I'm Dizzy for Ukraine. I'd like to go over the basics of Ukraine so if you're following the news, you know what's going on and you're not looking like a ding dong in front of your friends and your family. So first let's talk a little bit about geography. If you take a look at the map right over here, you can see that the Ukraine is wedged between Russia on its eastern border and on its western border is Europe. So in a sense, Ukraine is having an identity crisis. We all know that Ukraine was part of the former Soviet Union. In 1991, Ukraine became, like most uh, Soviet republics, an independent nation and uh, kind of drifted around for about a decade trying to find itself and having a lot of economic turmoil. Um, in 2004, they had an election between two victors. That's right, Victor Squared, Victor Yushchenko and Victor Yanukovych. Um, that election kind of was uh, uh, rife with turmoil and uh, chaos and strife, and uh, the results were challenged by the public. Um, that resulted in something called the Orange Revolution. The Orange Revolution was a peaceful revolution based on Gandhi and Martin Luther King. This nonviolent protest movement actually um, resulted in a revote. And in that revote, it was Viktor Yushchenko that took the prize. Um, fast forward to 2010, and there's another election, and his opponent, the guy who originally won, uh, Viktor Yanukovych, is now president. Now, Yanukovych is much more closely aligned with Russia than Europe. Now let's get to the current protests because you've seen all the blood on the news. In November of 2013, Ukraine decided they were not going to join the EU, the European Union. This upset many people that lived in western Ukraine and especially the cosmopolitan city of Kiev. So that's where the protest movement began, kind of uh, rejecting Ukraine's position and trying to pressure them. At the same time, Russia threw billions of dollars at Ukraine to try to keep them in the fold. Russia wants Ukraine to align themselves with Russia, not only because they have access to the Black Sea, but Ukraine got mad resources, like mad resources. So here we are. Um, on uh, Christmas, uh, December 25th of 2013, a journalist named Tetiana uh, Chernovo was uh, brutally beaten by uh, the Ukrainian police, and that just furthered the protests. Um, over the last few days, the protests have uh, basically barricaded themselves in Independent Square in Kiev and have uh, fashioned kind of some old-fashioned medieval weapons like the catapult, and they are launching uh, wep uh, weapons and rocks over the barrier at the police. At the end of the day, the struggle in Ukraine is about the Ukrainian identity. Is Ukraine going to align with the Western powers of the European Union and become uh, more westernized? Or are they going to stick with the former Soviet Union, the Russians, and uh, align themselves with uh, those folks? That's the basics, guys. So make sure you do your research. Go read a couple articles and grow your brain 10 times its size. But now you know where Ukraine is and a little bit about what's going on. All right, make sure that you subscribe to Hip Use History, where attention goes, energy flows, and we'll see you next time when we do the teaching on the YouTubes.